This is an RGB table lamp that I built to test and learn how to control hardware through Wi-Fi. There are tons of options when it comes to choosing Wi-Fi modules for this purpose, but for this project I got the cheapest ESP8266 that I could find at the moment which is named as Node MCU V3 on AliExpress and costs less than $2. To be able to program this module on Windows, you first need to install driver for CH340 chip. Get the link in the description and download the driver installation executable. Some commercial devices might include this driver, so it's a good idea to first click uninstall to remove any old versions of this driver before installing the newest one. To be able to program this module using Arduino IDE, you need to install the board definitions for it. In the additional boards manager URLs, add the JSON URL provided in the video description. Then in the boards manager search for ESP8266 and install the ESP8266 community boards definitions package. After installing the package, go and select the Lolink VMOS D1R1 board and change the upload speed to 115,200. Now we are ready to program the module. Using the link in the video description, you can get the code from GitHub. I won't explain the code because it will take a lot of time, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask anything about the code in the comments. Other than the ESP8266, you will need these few things to make this project. You will also need to print the parts for the case of the table lamp. Printables link to the STL files also in the video description. This is the schematic. It's straightforward, nothing complex, just follow the lines. Ok, so here is how I put everything together. The white sheet that I used as a diffuser is just printing paper. I sprayed it with white paint to increase its diffusion capability and make it a bit sturdier. I used cyanoacrylate glue to glue all the parts together and the diffusing sheet to the frame. Ignore the wiring mess, I was in a hurry and couldn't be bothered with better solution. Now that everything is ready, let me explain how to use and control the lamp. When you turn on the lamp for the first time, the blue LED on the ESP8266 will blink. This means the device is not connected to Wi-Fi. To configure the lamp Wi-Fi connection, Check the available Wi-Fi networks. You should see a network named STS RGB Table Lamp. Connect to it using Let It Be Light as a password. Once connected, open this IP address in web browser. This will show you the form where you need to enter the credentials for your Wi-Fi network. When you click connect, the lamp will restart and you will be disconnected from it. Then the lamp will connect to the Wi-Fi network that you specified. At this point, the blue LED on the ESP8266 module should stop blinking which shows that the device is connected. If you mess up the credentials and the LED doesn't stop blinking, you can click the reset button on the ESP8266 board to reset and forget the credentials. 
the module should restart and it should get back to blinking blue LED after which you will need to redo all the previous steps. After successfully connecting the LAMP to your Wi-Fi network, next step is to find out which IP address is assigned to the LAMP. Open your router control panel and find the list of connected devices. This is different on every router, so you will need to find that option on your own. Once you find the list of connected devices, look for a device with name STS RGB table lamp. Or if your router is showing only IP addresses and not names, then you can try all the IP addresses one by one till you get to this page. This part for connecting, configuring and controlling the table lamp can be made way simpler without a discovery. But for that I will need to make a mobile app, something that I will explore in my next Wi-Fi enabled projects, so make sure to subscribe to follow my progress. I hope you find this project interesting and useful as much as I did. Thank you for watching.